Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this afternoon and definitely some things to talk about here with this pattern shift coming into the west after 321. Three storm systems and this afternoon, it looks like the third storm is trending stronger and that has pushed up some of the totals considerably across uh, across parts of the west and some of the major mountain ranges. We'll look at that coming up. And the Sierra, you can see the timing here. Sierra, Tetons, Wasatch, Colorado. Got everything listed out there. Again, three different storm systems, three different waves of potentially moderate to heavy snow accumulation. Um, in the northeast, heavy. The 323 storm is trending stronger. And wait till you see the numbers. Heavy accumes and then light to moderate snow, 328 into 329. So we'll look at all of this in this forecast update. Let's go to water vapor satellite imagery this afternoon. And let me just show you what we're dealing with. So on this, the um, moisture aloft is in the whites and the uh, the blues and also the greens. So you've got a storm system here. You've got another one behind it. And then the third one. And, and you can almost see it here on this perspective, on this satellite um, it, it, it is broad. That third storm looks like it's got some serious spin to it, and it's taken up a lot of real estate. All right, here's the latest jet forecast. So by the end of day today, there it is. Still looking at some high-pressure ridging across the west, and then that changes. Watch what happens. Things start to come together, 321 into 322, and there's our first storm system. The one that's going to break down the high and set up this uh, this storm track and it's moving through california washington oregon rolling into idaho montana wyoming utah and colorado where it could spin up into a little stronger storm system right there 324 into 325 and then the jet remains buckled and you've got this perfect slide so the additional energy coming in with the second storm system will just slide right down that on 325 326 and then here's what's coming. Look at that. that. That's the third storm system right there. And it is much, it's pretty well defined. You can see the trough sliding in right there. So that comes into the Pacific Northwest and also parts of California. Hits Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado pretty hard as it looks right now. And then it would sweep out on the 29th. So let me put some precip on top of all of this. So there's your forecast uh, radar and satellite by 530 today. There's tomorrow morning. Initial wave of very light snow slides through. Here comes the first storm system. Slides into California and then into the interior. You can see the widespread heavy snow accumulation there across a lot of Montana, the Tetons. Uh, a quick shot through the, uh, the Wasatch, but the accumulations look pretty good. Um, then some snow into parts of Colorado, 324, and then the, the low matures, and it spins up in southeast Colorado. And I've been talking about this the last couple of days. We often will see this, and this will enhance the snowfall totals in parts of Colorado, especially right on top of the Continental Divide. And I've got snow here all the way down into Denver between Sunday and Monday. You can see it's all blue, so it's much colder. And then that slides out, and then right on its heels, the next wave, there it is, the next wave of moisture, the next storm system. Now, this is storm number three right now, and this one definitely has more to it. You can see it sliding through, takes its time, and it comes in with, with some great jet support. All right, here are the, uh, the latest numbers. I've got my latest grand total map. These are the grands by late 329, and uh, let's just start out with the numbers that have changed, and there's a lot of a lot of them. Now we're looking at three feet. I've got three feet on the board through late 329 for the Tetons. I've got three feet on the board for the Wasatch. Those numbers have risen at least a foot, um, if not more, if not a couple of feet for Big and Little Codwood Canyon. So uh, this is going to be a great stretch if all this holds up. Look at Colorado now right at about two feet. So, you know, we were looking at one to two feet earlier today. Now we're right at two feet for a lot of the mountains of Colorado. Um, the Sierra have gone up at least a foot. Now we're looking at two, maybe three feet of snow there. And now a foot, Sun Valley's gone up, Brundage, Schweitzer, Montana, look at Big Sky, a couple of feet there. Um, the numbers up through parts of BC, looking at about a foot there through Sunshine, Fernie, and Kicking Horse, quite a bit less in Revelstoke and Marmot Basin. Okay, let me break it down by time period now. So this is the rest of today through tomorrow. It's all up in BC, Northern Tier. This is uh, storm number one right here and the start of storm two, but looking at about six to 12 through most of the, uh, the Wasatch, five to eight in the Tetons, and some pretty good snows up and through parts of Montana, and anywhere from six to 12 over parts, uh, parts of Colorado with just storm one and maybe the beginning stages of storm two factored in. Now this factors in the, the rest of storm two in all of three. So this is 325 through 329. This will be the big period 
with anywhere in purple over a foot, and we're going to accumulate potentially two to three feet in the Tetons and the Wasatch, and at least another foot over parts of Colorado, the Wasatch, or the, uh, the Sierra, at least another foot, maybe two there as well. And the numbers continue to go up in Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and Montana. All right, now look at this shift. Big change here, much bigger numbers through parts of the Northeast in this update versus this morning. And again, a lot of it has to do with that 323 storm system. It has a little better track. It spins up a little tighter along the coast. And as a result, you get that belt of high, of high snow totals up through Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine of potentially two feet. All right, guys, we'll end on the, uh, the grand total map here. For this afternoon, and again, a lot of totals went up in this afternoon update. Always appreciate you tuning in here, and take care.